All right, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Z table in Excel. And if you like the video, give me a like, share, subscribe, and check out my other videos. But let's go ahead and get started on this one. All right, so the first the first one we're going to do, uh, the Z table that I'm doing is the one that gives you the area to the left of the Z value. Uh, so we have to make a positive one and we have to make a negative Z table. So first let's do the positive. So right here in this first cell A1, I'm just going to put Z. That's for the, that represents, that's the Z value. And then we're going to start at zero. And this is going to go in increments of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and so on, all the way up to 3.4, okay? So I've got 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and I don't wanna copy all this down, but look, if you get a pattern going in Excel, you can just highlight this and then just grab this, this little dot here, grab it and pull it down, and you can see, I guess it's gonna show up in the video, but there's a little pop up right there that's showing we're at 1.8 well I mean you can go down as far as you want but the the Z table I'm doing goes up to 3.4 so we're gonna stop right there at 3.4 and it automatically it auto fills everything for you now you see how it's got the two here and the three here we're gonna fix that in a minute we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get all the values down first and then we're gonna kind of make the table look better. And then we need a zero going across the top. And then I've got 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and so on. And this has to go to 0 0.09. And so we're gonna stop right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, center everything at the end. But now what we've gotta do is we've gotta fill in our values. Okay, we need we need these areas right here. So the formula that we're going to use is going to be norm dot s dot d i s t. That's the normal distribution, and you can see they want the z value. Well, what's the z value? Well, hopefully at this point, I mean, you hopefully you know how to read the z table, so you know what you know you know what to do so this value here would be zero okay and then the value in the next cell would be zero would be 0 0.01 and so on so for instance if you were down here at 1.2 and say you were down here that are right here where the where the little plus is that would be the z value 1.23 see it's 1.2 three is your second decimal. Remember, this column here is the the first number and the it has the first decimal and the column going across the top contains the second decimal. All right, so the way that we have to do this is we need to take this cell plus this cell, okay? And that's the that's the number it's going to look up. And then we're going to put a comma and do we want it cumulative? Yes, we do. That's going to give us the area to the left. We type true and hit enter, and you can see that's 0.5. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Because zero in the standard normal curve, zero is the mean, so zero's in the middle. So remember, the area under the entire curve is one, so half, half of it would be 0.5. Now, we don't want to go and copy this and, and type this formula out for every single one. We want to copy it. So I want to, I want to copy it this way and then I want to copy it down. And so what I want to do is I want to take this, this cell plus this one and put it here. And then this cell plus this one and put it here and so on. So as I copy this thing across, I want I want this to change, the, the B1, I want, it, I want that to change to C1 and then D1 and so on. But this, I don't want it to change. 
it has to stay at A1 because I want to do 0 plus each one. Well, if I grab this and just pull it across, that's not correct because what that's doing is, you can see, that's now doing B2 plus C1. See, B2 plus C1, I don't want that. I want A2 plus C1. All right, that's what we want. So how do we fix that? Well, if you want, we want the column to stay the to stay fixed. We don't want the column to change. So what I do is I come here in front of the A in the formula and I put a dollar sign. And what that will do is that will that will make the column stay at A. All right. And so now we're going to copy it across and there it is. And you can see, you see A2, 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 see it stayed fixed. Now I need to copy this thing down. And you might be wondering, well, why didn't you put a dollar sign in front of the two? Well, because look, when I copy this down, see, I want A3 plus, plus B1. And then A3 plus C1, A3 plus D1, and so on. You see that? All right. So, so now to copy that down, I want the rows to change. But here, I need this row. I need this B here because I need it to stay on this row here. You see that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need it to stay on this row here, so I need the 1 to stay fixed. Okay, I need the 1 to stay fixed. And so I need to come in here and I need to put a dollar sign on the one, hit enter. All right. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't put it here, so I'm going to recopy this. See, this one has a dollar sign on it, but this one doesn't. Okay. I, I put the dollar sign on afterwards. So that means I need to recopy this. It's not going to change the numbers, but what it's going to do is it's going to put the dollar sign on the one. All right, and now I can grab all of this and I can grab here and I can drag this down to the bottom and there it is. And now it's all populated just like it should be. Now, I know this looks a little different than, you know, what the table looks like because, you know, in the table like this row here, This zero here, it normally shows as 0.0. .0. And this one here would show as 1.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all this. And all you got to do is right click and hit Format Cells. And then go to Number. And you want it to round to one decimal place. And you can see now it's doing like it's supposed to. And then this one, I want this to two decimal places. I want this to show 0 0.00. So I'm going to hit Format Cells again. Number, I want it two decimal places. And there you go. And then in a Z table, in a Z table, normally these numbers here are rounded to four decimal places. So I'm going to highlight all of these. And I'm going to right click, hit Format Cells, Number. I'm going to round them all to four decimal places. And so, you know, that's kind of cleaning it up a little bit. And then I'm going to come up here, grab all those, and I'm going to center everything. And then, you know, if you wanted to, you could you could come over here and you could take this and you could fill that in, I don't know, maybe using a dark gray. You know, you can just kind of do it, you know, however you want. And so, you know, that makes it look a little better, I guess. And if you wanted to, you could come over here and you could add some some borders. I mean, I don't know if you want to do that or not, but if you do, just put all borders on it, and there you go. And then if you wanted to, you could you could come over here and, and do, like, sections. 
you can grab this and go here and just you know you can do different sections if you want to and I don't know maybe do a light gray there and then start right here at the at point five and go down here to point nine do that and you could do that all the way down just kind of you know split it up a little bit if you wanted to but yeah there's the positive one there's your z table and you can print it out and use it all right now let's look at the one for negative oh and another thing if you wanted to you can you could come over here and just kind of move these rows in closer if you wanted to or you can just leave them wide like that you know you might want to adjust the rows depending on if you can fit it on a page or not you know so you may have to do that i don't know but now let's look at the negative one because the negative one's a little bit different <clears throat> so to do the to do the negative well we're going to start out the same way we're going to put the z there and remember on the positive positive one we went from zero to three point four well we're going to do the same thing here from zero to negative 3.4 but you know I'm gonna put in uh, negative 3.4 that's I mean start with the lower number and go to the larger number see that's what we did here we started with the lower number 0 and we went to the largest number 3.4 and that's what we're gonna do over here we're starting with the lower lowest number negative 3.4 and we're going to 0 so that means this one would be negative 3.3 and so I'm just going to take this I'm going to copy it down go all the way down until I get to to zero all right and then here I need point zero no I'm sorry I need zero point zero one point zero two and I can take this and I can copy it over to point nine and so there we are now we've got to do the formula again <clears throat> so I'm going to equal norm dot s dot d i s t and the z value is going to be this now this is where you got to be careful <clears throat> remember on the last one we did that cell plus this one up here we did this cell plus this one up here that's not the case here okay that's not the case here you've got to do this cell minus this cell and then we'll put true all right <clears throat> now why minus well because if you subtract if you do <clears throat> If you do negative 3.4 plus this, that's not right. You've got to you've got to make it to where it's negative. See, we want like for instance this cell right here, right here. We want this cell to be negative 3.42. Okay, negative 3.42. That's what we want it to calculate. Well, what is negative 3.4 plus 0 0.02 that's negative 3.38 but if we do negative 3.4 minus 0 0.02 that gives us negative 3.42 all right so that's where you got to be careful on the uh on when you're doing the one for subtraction and then let's go ahead because we already know how to do that let's add the dollar sign to hold that column and this row here fixed and hit enter and then we just take this copy it over and then we grab it again and copy it down and there they are and look this is all highlighted so just go ahead right click on it format cells number we want to round it to four decimal places there it is now let's take this and let's round this to one decimal place and th this right here is just cosmetic here you know just making it look better 
and then we go across here and we want to round this to two decimal places. And then of course we can come over here and center everything. And that's it. <clears throat> that's how that's how you do it. That's how you create a Z table in Excel. All right. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.